Hey guys, uh, I just want to start this off by saying thank you so much to everyone for being patient and giving me the time that I needed to handle this situation. And I'm sorry that it's taken me so long to discuss it. But at this point, it still is an ongoing legal matter, so I needed to handle it correctly. Uh, but I do want you all to know that the allegations made against me in November are completely false. And my legal team and I have spent the past three months collecting evidence, receipts, and statements to prove that not only are these disgusting allegations false, but they were made strictly with the intent to gain attention online and to get back at me for not wanting to be with them. These false allegations are not being taken lightly and there are going to be serious repercussions for the people that made them. Uh, but with that being said, after these videos, we are choosing to handle the situation offline because we feel like something this serious really does not have a place on the internet. And the only reason I'm making these videos now it's because I felt like I needed to defend myself and tell you guys the truth about the situation. Um, I'm going to tell you guys what actually happened and share with you enough evidence so that you know that these accusations are false. But as I stated earlier, it still is an ongoing legal matter. So there's some major evidence that we are choosing not to share at this point that we are going to be saving for court. All right, let's go ahead and start with Noor here. Noor's statement that she put out has so many holes and consistencies and just straight up lies throughout the entire thing. Plain and simple, I did not even see Noor on the night of July 5th, which is the night that she claimed the assault happened. That night, she threw a party that I did not go to. I was actually at the gym at the time. And before that, she was at a shoot for a music video. She was actually cut out of most of the music video because she went to the set and lied about her age and was underage drinking. But I was able to find the shot that shows that she was in fact there. She does say that it could have happened on another day and she isn't really sure, which is really weird that she doesn't really call the date that she was supposedly assaulted considering some of the follow-up statements she has made but just like the initial date that she claimed i can go back and disprove any other day that she said it could have happened not to mention that Nora's statement comments and tweets are contradicting each other all the time and just for an example of that she claims that it happened in july yeah right here in this comment contradicts herself and says that it happened in june now, before I continue on and finish telling you guys what actually happened, I want to make it clear that Nor did have a panic attack around me once, like she said in her statement. However, the details she gave are completely false. The panic attack was very mild and it happened weeks before the supposed date and everything was completely fine with us afterwards. After her panic attack, I was comforting Noor. She tried to kiss me and I did not shut it down. However, her kissing me was the only thing that happened and allowing that was 100% a mistake on my part and I should have never let that happen. But for her to twist it and say that I sexually assaulted her in any way is a complete lie. After that, Noor continuously tried to hook up with me and would get extremely upset and angry when I told her that I did not want to do anything sexual with her. She would tell me I was a pussy and that I needed to man the fuck up and eventually got to the point that she was trying to sleep with me while I was blackout drunk. She even went so far as to try to drag one of my friends out of my bed when I was blacked out drunk and telling them that they needed to leave because she wanted some dick, even though I was completely passed out and in no position to make any decisions or consent to anything and had made it abundantly clear prior to this that I did not want to do anything with her. Uh, but other than that, Nor was completely fine with me. 